It's the world's toughest dried fish. To eat it, you need a carpenter's plane. Without one, you might never get to taste it. Someone once did an experiment and found that if you sharpen bonito to a point, it can be used as a dagger. You'd think such a hard dried fish would be cheap. But on Amazon, a single piece can go up to 200. So how do they make this fish so hard? Freshly caught, bonito is frozen and delivered to the factory. Inside the factory, machinists cut off the fish's head and then workers divide the remaining part unique flavor to the fish meat. During the process, a large amount of smoke makes it difficult for the fish to dry. A lot of tar wraps around the fish meat, causing the moisture not to evaporate. So, a second roasting cannot be done immediately after the first one. There needs to be a break before the second round. The fish turns into dried fish, and the whole process takes about a month. After the tedious steps, the dried fish is not yet ready. A type of mold needs to be evenly applied to the surface of the fish meat, and then it is neatly arranged. After 14 days, the surface of the fish meat will be covered with mold. Then, all the mold is scraped off. Since mold keeps growing, this process needs to be repeated continuously. After about two months, skilled workers will determine if the bonito dried fish is ready by repeatedly tapping it. To eat bonito dried fish, it must be shaved into thin slices using a plane. Bonito dried fish preserves the deliciousness of bonito to a greater extent 